What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. I was shopping on Amazon and I saw this neat little full star vegetable chopper. It's like a dicer. It has a spiralizer. It has all kinds of fun stuff. So I got this baby. We're going to try it out today with the new green pan uh, electric skillet. Thanksgiving's coming up and we need a lot of extra cooking surfaces and this might be a great thing for us to use for thanksgiving we're making some christmas morning hash browns right we've got potatoes and onions and bell peppers we're going to throw them in this we're going to dice it and throw it up in here and have us a little hash brown party right so join me it's wednesday let's try out this full star vegetable chopper So I love these little choppers. Years ago, I did a, a chopper war video and we did electric mini choppers. I had something similar to this, but it was really clunky to use. I couldn't get the arm of it off the base, so I really never used it. I was on Amazon and this one has like 90,000 reviews on it. It gets really good reviews. So what this is, is it's sort of like a dicer. So you have this blade in here, that's your dicing blade. And when you put it on here, you put your food on there and wham, right? It's gonna dice it for you. In here, it also, of course, comes with a lot of different gadgets. So it has this thing that does like spiralizing. One of these does slicing. It comes with a big uh, dicer and a small dicer. It comes with, this goes on top of here when you're, when you're uh, spiralizing, this goes like that. And it comes with a bunch of cleaning brushes to clean out your little dicers if stuff gets stuck in there. So what happens is you put this lid on, this comes out for cleaning. All you do is hit these little things right here and this pops off like that. Um, so you can clean it. I actually used this once and I threw it in the dishwasher afterwards and it seemed to be okay. So you'll have it on here. You're gonna put your food here, wham, right? And you're gonna dice it. Um, one of the things about like, we're gonna do potatoes. You have to obviously peel your potatoes. You need to cut them in a size that's thick for the size of dice you want. Um, some people say, well, if you're gonna cut them, why don't you just cut them all the way? And I'm, I can't like dice things perfectly, you know, same size so they cook the same way. So this is gonna help. Plus if you have a lot, it's like cut, wham, cut, wham. So let me get the potatoes over here and we're gonna try this baby out. So we have our potato there and we're just gonna go wham. And it's diced. So watch how fast we can do these potatoes. this thing and it's not like the other one I had seemed like it like it jammed a lot or something I don't know um, this one's really cool I'll put a link down to this in the description whoa Actually fun. So I'm going to take the lid off and here's our dice. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and put them into this, which is our green pan. And we're going to go ahead and put the potatoes in our cooker here. So we're going to do a few more potatoes. this thing it's not I thought it was gonna be kind of hard to push on it but it's actually fairly easy and it's fast so 
So on Christmas morning, Thanksgiving morning, oops, this one's a little thick. When you have a crowd to feed and you're going to, you're going to peel up like 10 pounds of potatoes or something. <laughs> uh, you can just dice away. You can peel and have your helpers uh, do the dicing. So there we go. Go ahead and put these in here. Okay, so I'm gonna do some onions. We're gonna make this a little Potatoes O'Brien. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and just half, half moon some onions. And we're going to go ahead and dice the onions. Wow, this is cool. I like it. This is a great tool to have for Thanksgiving because there's a lot of prep. You can just bam, bam. And here's your diced onions. And I've got a little bell pepper here. I'm going to cut it into some pieces here. And we're going to go ahead and put our bell pepper on here. Wham! <laughs> wham! Why do I want to say wham every time I do this? This is fun. You can get everybody involved on the Thanksgiving meal. Be careful because these are really sharp. Um, to get the job done fast. Look at that. Damn. Wow, okay, time to cook the potatoes. Okay, we got our potatoes in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the cooker on. I'm gonna put it on sear and saute. It's wanting 40 min 20 minutes at 400. The time is definitely gonna have to go up because potatoes take a while to cook. So I'm just, this is not like how long it's gonna take, um, but that's what I'm putting it on. And I'm gonna put some oil in here. I have some oil left over from when we were cooking on the Blackstone. So that looks pretty good. Um, Ooh, yeah, this is kind of cool. So as these heat up and start cooking, um, I'll show you how it's browning. So we are getting a little bit of browning. They've been in here about 12 minutes and we're starting to get some brown potatoes. One thing I noticed, I, I put it on 400 and for some reason the controls kept switching it back to 375. So I popped it to, uh, 425 and it switched it to 400. I don't know what's up with that. So the potatoes are continuing. So I put the lid on just to soften the potatoes up. You want to make sure you don't do it, add the lid on too much because it'll mush them up. We're going to go ahead now and put our onions in here. I didn't put them in here earlier because I don't want them to burn. Bell peppers are going in. And oh, mm -hmm. time to O'Brien them, right? Uh -huh. Woo. I think I want a tiny bit more oil in here. Woo. Well, you do like the slipperiness of the pan, though. Yeah, I mean, this is seriously nonstick. So, the potatoes continue. Okay, these are looking really good. They're nice and crispy. The onions and bell peppers are cooked nicely. Time for a little seasoning. I'm just using a little bit of barbecue rub. This barbecue rub has plenty of salt, so I don't need to add salt otherwise, but you can add whatever kind of seasoning, salt, pepper, any kind of blend you like. Um, mm, these look really good. Ooh, time to plate them up. 
Yum, right? We're gonna put our... Mm. I don't, I thought I would need to put them on here to drain them, but they don't seem really all that greasy, so I'm just gonna put them here anyway, because we already put this together. Wow. Mm -hmm. This would be great for Thanksgiving morning, the day Black Friday morning, you're getting ready to take your shoppers out for Black Friday, give them a nice breakfast before they leave, or you leave, right? <laughs> uh, Christmas morning, the day after Christmas, actually any day. If you have, make it for Christmas, throw a little red and green bell pepper, just make a little Christmassy, right? Mm -hmm. Fry you up an egg and some bacon. You can do that right in here. Mm -hmm. And you got breakfast. You got breakfast. So let me get some plates so we can try this out. It's time to have us a little feast. A little hash brown feast. You could cook up an egg with this, but we didn't. You want some, Boo? Sure. Get me a fork, too. He's snatched that up pretty quickly. Well, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Give me a little ketchup. Okay, so I love the little chopper. It did a great job. It was quick and easy. Um, sometimes you'll ask, is it faster for me just to cut it? I think I got more even of a chop. Then I do when I try to dice it on my own. Mm -hmm. mm. These are really good. I love that little chopper. I'm going to use that for Thanksgiving. I'm going to be chopping everything with that. My carrots, my onions, my celery, all that. I'm going to try to cut some apple with that as well. Um, this thing was pretty cool. I got, I was a little weirded out that it dropped the temp 25 degrees. It kept doing that. I don't know if it does that all the time. I'll have to play with it some more. It did a great job though. It was really nonstick. Like it just woo woo around that pan. It's great. So this is the green pan electric skillet. I'll put links down in the de description. Um, I got this on Amazon and I really like it. And also the chopper is a full, full, star vegetable topper inexpensive and fantastic so i hope you enjoy this and i hope these tools work good for you for the upcoming thanksgiving holiday enjoy and i hope you have a great wednesday i am yum, yum. <laughs> mm. nothing sticking on that thing mm -mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yum yum boo.